welcome to project pro code recipes uh, in this video we are going to learn on how to save train model so this is my code snippet over here i have copied this code and i have pasted that in my jupyter notebook i'll explain to you the code over here so let's get started and now first of all why do we need to do this so every uh, the uh, when uh, when we are working on a school level project basically the training a model takes around half an hour so it's not a long time and you can train that model again if you want but still if you want to save that half half an hour or when you are doing an industrial project where training a deep learning model could take 2 to 3 hours or even 2 or 2 2 to 3 3 uh, days so in those cases you want to save that model so you don't want to train that model and again and again one more thing when you get the best model suppose your accuracy comes out to be 97% if you train that model again the weights are going to be initialized in different manner and your model and your model accuracy could also decrease to 94% now you want to save your best model so uh, uh, and you don't want to train it again and again so you use this joblib or pickle function to save that model the weights are and everything are going to be saved in the model and this model could be used again by just loading it you could you just only need to load that model and you can use that again so now let's get started so over here i am defining my function now print these are two print statements so from sklearn i have import my model selection then from uh, and data sets so from sklearn tree i am using my using decision tree classifier then from sklearn dot externals i have imported joblib and i have imported pickle2 so these two are uh, saving methodologies one is joblib and one is pickle now data set so sklearn comes with preloaded data set so over here i am using my breast cancer data set that is load a breast cancer so under the name data set now i am separating the feature matrix and the target matrix so it gives me two output uh, data set gives me two output that is data and target so you need to save x is equal to data set dot data and y is equal to data set dot target then from uh, i am performing a train test split so just uh, in order to make sure that my model is not getting overfitted i am performing train test split so x uh, y then test size is equal to 0.25 that is i want my 25% of data to be for testing part and rest 25% for training part uh, this will give me four output that is x train y train which i will use for training and then x test and y test which i will use for testing so okay now model is equal to decision tree classifier so model dot fit x underscore train and y underscore train now i mean i have initialized my decision tree classifier model and then i am fitting my x train and y train uh, file name uh, so over in this method i am using my pickle methodology that is i am using my pickle function to save my file so train underscore model dot pickle should be my file name now this is the simple code pickle dot dump model you need to pass the model this was uh, my decision tree classifier if i would have used uh, model 1 then i would have written over here model 1 that is the model then open file name wb okay so this means open the file name and write uh, train model dot pickle okay now load model so pickle dot load now i could have i can also uh, now this was about saving now i also need to load the model so that i can use as you can see i haven't used any uh, class that is i haven't uh, made any classification uh, i just train my model and i save that model now i'm going to load that model and then i'm going to classify the or then i'm going to uh, predict so load uh, underscore model pickle dot load you just need to write this when pickle dot load open so you need to pass the file name that is uh, my file name was train underscore model dot pickle which was saved under the name file name i passed file name then rb that is writing for uh, that is in reading uh, rb means reading format so result is equal to load underscore model dot score so i am using my accuracy method x test y test now print result this will give me the result for pickle model then i could also use joblib so file name is equal to trained model dot joblib joblib dot dump name then file name you just need if you want to load the model it is the same method as used in pickle so joblib dot load you just need to write the file name then uh, i have saved that under the name loaded model 
then result is equal to predictions for my loaded model dot score you can see the scores are same as the model is same so the scores are going to be same now where is this going to get stored so this is going to get stored in the directory in which your this jupyter notebook is so you can see this was my uh, notebook this was my directory where my jupyter notebook is uh, untitled one and you can see this is uh, my model so train underscore model job lib and train underscore model dot pickle now this was all about quotes in this video for more industry relevant projects you can visit our website and for more code recipes like this you can visit our website as well as our youtube channel you can also use this click here function to submit your request for customized code in case you don't find it on our website uh, please hit a uh, like button and sus subscribe to our channel and do write uh, your request for new videos in the com in the comment section below and the url for the code of this video is available in the description below thank you